Did you say four six? Six eight. It's six eight. Oh wait, wait, wait. Are we talking about the time signature or the yeah, block? Time signature. Right? I was right. trying to because I've always I've been oh, having kind of right. a hard time figuring out how the time signature. I know. Oh, okay. Let's what go it that. is. I just as far as like what the numbers exactly mean. Let's go. Yeah. Let's 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 go through that. Um. So. Um. The two numbers in the time signature, you can almost think of them, I mean, they're written as a fraction. You know, you yeah. have a number, a, a numerator and a denominator, yeah. kind of. But they're not really a fraction, but what they are, but they kind of are. They're telling us how a measure is broken up. Okay. And um, so they're telling us two things. Um, how many beats there are in a measure. How many times we're going to tap. So that's six. That's what the top number is for. And so that can be virtually any reasonable number. You can have, well, it's not going to be one. You're never just going to have one beat in a measure. Well, you might for like one measure. Sometimes if something odd happens in a song, but that's not going to be the main time signature of a yeah. song. Okay, um, but it could be two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, any. Um, we've played songs. Most of the times we've played songs that either have four, 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 and so that would mean four beats in the measure, uh -huh. or three, four, uh -huh. three beats in the measure. And so, so the no top number is how many times we're beating. Okay, the bottom number is a little more confusing, but it's it. It's representing, we, we're counting beats, and each of these beats has to be, some kind of note has to be assigned the value of being worth a beat. Mm -hmm. And so there is no rule that says a quarter note is worth one beat, where a lot of music books will tell you that right off the front. A quarter note gets one beat. No, that's only true if a quarter note has been assigned the value of one beat mm -hmm. by that bottom number. So the bottom number refers to whatever kind of note we're going to be counting. And so it can only be a couple of things. It can't be like a five or a three or a, or a seven. Those numbers mean nothing in terms of note values. Mm. Okay, the notes we have from the biggest note to the smallest, like our longest note in music, is called a what? Um, a whole note. Yeah, and then we just have divisions of that. Yeah. You know, so the second longest note would be a half note, know. and then we have a quarter note, then we have an eighth note, and then we have a sixteenth note. So they're all just powers of two, you know, to, um, as fractions, mm -hmm. right? And um, the a whole note then can be broken up into like two half notes or four quarter notes or eight eighth notes or sixteen sixteenth notes or any combination of those you know eight sixteenths and four eighths that mm -hmm. add up to a whole. Gotcha. Right. So so the bottom number is just telling us which of those kinds of notes where each of these taps is. So in any time signature that has four in the bottom. That four is standing for quarter notes, and it's just telling us that that's oh. what we're counting. Okay. Now it means a quarter note does get one beat. Okay. And then every everything else is counted relative to quarter notes. Okay. So now a half note gets two beats, and a whole note gets four beats, uh -huh. and an eighth note technically gets a half a beat because so it would take two eighth notes to take up one beat. Mm -hmm. So if we're if we're counting quarters, meaning and it doesn't matter how many there are in the top, it doesn't matter whether it's three, four, five, four, seven, four, eighteen, four, it doesn't matter what how many beats are in a measure. But what we're tapping is the quarter notes. And then if we want to play something faster than the quarter notes, we split those into eighths and we use the word and to like mark that midpoint. If this is one, two, three, one, two, three. So now I'm in three, four time because I'm counting three per measure. Mm -hmm. Okay. But now we put, um, a, uh, if we want to play faster notes than this, we can split each of these into two eighth notes. And that's what we would count one and two and three and four and. So if the beats are going like that, if I play quarter notes, two, three, one, two, three. If I played a half note and a quarter, which would also take up three beats, it would be something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now I couldn't have in three, four time, I couldn't have two half notes in there because that would be too many beats. Mm. Okay? So the um, or I could have a dotted half note that takes up all three beats. One, two, three, one, two, three. So in three, four time, the longest note I can have is a note worth three quarter notes. Gotcha. Okay? But now, if if we want to play something faster, we can split these quarters into eighths, one and two and three and.